Okay, report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're here with David Thrussell, free thinker, up in a secret location up here in rural Undisclosed Victoria. Undisclosed location. Yes, outside the Ring of Steel, which we've broken, of course, legally uh, today. Thank you. Uh, hail, uh, hail Andrew. Hail uh, glorious leader. Hail glorious leader. Hail, uh, hail Andrew. Eternally loyal to the glorious leader. Yes, yes, we are. Thank you. <laughs> so, report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around. All right, David, so here we go, part two of our little chat. Um, so yes, we're in this disaster and, um, you know, I mean, this is definitely the long, I mean, Melbourne The long emergency. I read yeah. a book a few years ago. It's interesting how all the, there's so much thought and literature and, uh, you know, ideas that have led us directly to exactly where we are right now. We've there got is, this yeah. mass of information yeah. which has pointed us to exactly where we have arrived. So yeah, a couple of years ago, I read a book about called The Long Emergency. And here we are, mm. we're in this kind of Long emergency. infinite emergency state now. You know, yeah. there was, I just need to say this again, mm. in March, it was two weeks to flatten Button the curve. curve. Okay, mm. now, Eight months later, yeah, um, you would imagine that curve would be very flat by now. I mean, it should be concave by now, shouldn't it? You know. But here's my prediction. Mark my words. April next year, yeah. because they've built the the infrastructure of of totalitarianism now. It's yes. now in place, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got to give your details to go to a shop or go to a restaurant or, or yes, you do. be a human being. You've yeah. got to you've got to uh, give up your personal, your private information just to be a human being, to do what human beings do, mm -hmm. you know? So they've built this structure of totalitarianism. And now, of course, as we know, in uh, Australia, in January, nobody's going to be getting mm. uh, sniffles, flu, yeah. you know, in, in Australia in January. So they've got to wind it back. They've got to pretend yeah. to wind it back a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're doing but now. But come March, come April, when people get sniffles again, yep. this whole structure of totalitarianism is already in place. Mm -hmm. You just have to press the on button. And it'll be dialed it goes, back up again. And it'll be nasty. My prediction is, and I, I absolutely hope I'm wrong, I do not mm. want to be right about this, but my prediction is that June next year, it will be very nasty. What does very that mean? Very nasty. Another complete lockdown? Oh, beyond what we've experienced already. Really? Absolutely. That's my prediction. Yep. Yeah. 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 Wow. I hope I'm wrong. Yeah. I yeah. hope I'm wrong. But So let's I talk about this, 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 I mean, it's very strange that, you know, there was talk of the Great Reset before COVID turned up, but now yep. COVID has turned up. I mean, and it seemed very toothless. Yes. Like, why would you do this yes, thing? Yes, exactly. They also had this weird, that, remember that weird ritual in that tunnel that in Switzerland? Yes, they did. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it was yeah. like a sort of, it was like the opening to the Olympic Games. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Except this is the Olympic Games. Do yeah, you know exactly. What I mean? It was some yeah, yeah. weird, dark, occult ritual. And even the last Olympic this, Games had this... all these children in beds. It was like, it was all around disease and everything, you know. And also, too, like some that. Madonna performance last year had, had, had all people wearing gas masks. It's like, you know, I mean, this is called the revelation of the art. Because if you believe that the elite is a kind of Luciferian, satanic um, group of sex predators, which seems... I don't know where you get these crazy I ideas. I have no idea why you would think that. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, anyway, well, well, no, that's the well, rumour. Yeah. Um, you know, that, that this... and. You know, with I mean, we see it the, again and yeah, again and again. Don't with, we? with people you know. in the occult, you know, they one of the things they do is they is they it's like it's like you know when when a, when a vampire says you have to invite me in, yeah. you know what I mean? They have to tell you revelation what revelation of the method. I know it is revelation of the method. revelation of the method. You know, yeah. yeah. If you want to cast some occult uh, ritual yep. or some occult spell on somebody, you have to pretend that you've given them the option of free will. Exactly. Yeah, but it's so a you reveal it over here. This is what I wonder about the Epstein thing. Yeah. You know, because I people like Epstein normally don't get caught. Get revealed. They no. don't get caught. People, they're no. untouchable. Because people they're think untouchable. there are lots of things but like Epstein guy, going on, but, he, you know... Yes, obviously. People, it's like there, there are many Epsteins out there. Except Epstein himself was the only one we found out about. And yes. Nexium and a couple of others, you know. Yeah, and I, I, I wonder about that, and I think, is this a revelation of the method? Because I hmm. think... And, I'm, uh, you know, you may think the same thing, and I'm sure other people think the same thing, but this is a clue. Epstein was a clue. This is how we control the political sphere. Yeah. With blackmail. With, exactly. With industrial blackmail Industrial-level blackmail, yeah. You know? Involving, and you know, underage go, girls. Yeah. We're going to reveal this mm. little Epstein thing, and then we're mm. going to take it away. He's going to die, apparently, yeah. or whatever. <laughs> Who the hell knows what happened there, you know? <laughs> but we've revealed it now, so... Yeah. We've now given you the information for your free will. We've given yeah. you the information that this is how we control the political yeah. realm. Yeah. You know? And, and now we're going to move ahead yeah. with 
all this other bullshit, ah, you know? Fucking... Yeah, yeah. We, we, are, we are living in a, a very occult domain. I think it's become mm. more and more obvious, you know? And I think... So you what know, are your some... predictions from here? So we're heading towards the end of 2020. We've only got, um, I mean, uh, six weeks left. Yeah. And uh, obviously, it's probably not too much more they can pack in in relation to... Um, so they'll 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 loosen the leash a little bit in Australia, you know, for about, the yeah. slaves here in in Europe and the states. In they're Europe, tightening the leash. they're tightening because it's winter over there. Well, because this 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 fraud, this yeah. scam, is a seasonal one. You, yep. As I said, you can't pretend that people have got the sniffles in Australia in January. It's not going to work. No. So you, you know? think that this this thing and. I mean, I found it surprising. I thought that this was, this crisis was here until we got the vaccine. But people are saying even with a vaccine, because it's only a certain percent effective. So you think they're going to keep this around forever? This totalitarian I system think, of control. And I, I wish most I sincerely to be wrong, but I think once you've opened the floodgates of totalitarianism, totalitarianism will not pack itself back in mm -hmm. willingly. Okay, they've made incredible advances in some ways, yep. and they're not going to want to go backwards on that stuff. You yep. know? So they are just going to push and push and push and push forward, uh, unless. What have happened to the idea that we, we take care of our, our health individually? You know what I mean? Like the, in the, you know, like we we make individual decisions about health, and then if we wanted to go mix with people, we would say, "Well, oh, there's a risk of COVID," but as we know, it's small. It's only not you know, ninety nine percent of people who, who supposedly get it. Are fine, and remarkably the similar to the flu. Well, absolutely, yes. and that's it. Could just be the flu in disguise. Um, you know, it could be a virulent flu. Maybe if there's something real, it could be just a strong flu. But it's not really as serious as the as the elite uh, have been terrorising us with, the, with their propaganda. That's well, there's a, there's a total schism there, isn't there? Yes. Because when you look at the numbers, when you look at the official numbers, the yeah. CDC numbers, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, they're remarkably similar to the flu. And sure, you can have a discussion around that. Whatever, mm. that's all fine. But they're remarkably similar to standard kind of flu and, mm -hmm. and the world health organization has said this cdc has said this mm -hmm. but yet in the media sphere and the political sphere it's uh, the black plague yep. you know they're, they're still talking behaving and treating as if it's the black plague and the hospitals you know? aren't busy and what's strange too is like no one's really going to get screened um for um you know other diseases some people might be going to get like my mother was going to have a cancer checkup, you know, which happens every year or two, but they said at the moment, let's wait. Sure. But of course, a lot of people are going to get affected by that, you know. So this is not really about people's health at all, because, I mean, my, no, diseases like heart disease and cancer, they kill a lot more people than fucking COVID, sure. even if COVID was allowed to run free. So there are some studies, I, I think I saw one from the UK, that has said that the lockdown has killed many more people. Exactly, you know, yeah. yeah. Um, than supposed disease and whatever, and that wouldn't mm. surprise me at all, you know. Um, no, it's, it's not about health, and I, I agree with you. The moral thing to, to do, the philosophical mm. and the morally correct thing to do, if you do think that there is a disease, an infectious disease that people should be concerned about, and this is exactly what we've done in the past, yes. is if you think that you are vulnerable or you're concerned, you yep. should take appropriate measures. Yeah, why you know? is it? And, I never realised we could have our rights taken away like this. That's the thing that surprised because me. Because that was the idea. Yep. from day one and yep. it was obvious it was screamingly obvious I, I think have so to say, yeah. you know that the 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 the, uh, the kind of Olympic level of enthusiasm mm. that the political class and the media had for lockdown and for detonating the economy yep. cannot be rationalized or justified except that it was it was deliberate it yep. was deliberate destroying the economy destroying people's uh, you know mental health and their, yep. their lives yep. and their livelihoods. You know, I mean, I've heard all sorts of horror stories um, about the effect that this has had on, on people. Absolutely, you know? uh, yeah. Horror yeah. stories. It's been know? terrible for people with small businesses. I know numerous people with small businesses that have gone under. And I guess about a third of people who I know with small businesses have gone under. The other yes. third are struggling. Yes, and and the, and the one third who are still strong have generally are people with, with means, but they're losing their means. And that yes. they can keep this going for maybe a year or two more, but even yes. they will lose their businesses. I, I cannot indulge in the fantasy that one of the aims of this whole program was to destroy small business. Mm -hmm. and, and really, and you go small business, yes, 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 whatever. But what that really is, what it really means is it's designed to destroy independence. Yes, from the people, system. People who, who provide for themselves independently. Yep, yep. This is why they, they've got such a revolting passion for this absurd UBI. Yep. Uh, idea, which is a revolting, disgusting which is idea. Universal basic income. Universal basic income. They've got an absolute hard on for this yeah. horrific thing, you know, and they're, they're not subtle about it. Yep. They're like the Klaus Schwab and all these guys. Yeah, they they're not it. subtle. I love it. They're, uh, they've declared their program. Mm -hmm. 
the media, of course, because they're in the pocket, yep. they ignore it, and the political class, because they're completely corrupt, they're Epstein, yep. they ignore it. But, you know, the WF and whoever, the rest of them, have declared their program very openly. What are your thoughts on the vaccine? Um, I think you'd have to be really uh, at an Olympic level of gullibility <laughs> to willingly take that thing. Yeah. You know? So you um, think it's going to be dangerous? Well, you don't know what the hell is in it. Yeah. I mean, it's just been conjured up uh, out of nowhere in within, a real Within hurry, nine months, you know. technically. Technically, this disease didn't exist nine months ago, right? Yeah, and I mean, coronavirus is technically coronavirus is supposedly you mutate constantly. Yeah. So you can't possibly devise a, a you know a vaccine treatment. for them in the in the theory if you believe yeah. that theory even you know the theory dictates that you can't mm. uh, produce. So it's a not vaccine. mandatory, that, supposedly, but well, that that might restrict your ability to travel and stuff. What do you, what do you think about that? Oh, I, I think that's part of the program, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, is to make it as they. I mean, they declare this openly. They've mm -hmm. done this very much. They'll make it as mandatory as they possibly. Can. Yeah, without holding you down and by the military. Well, and there it in comes a point where you cross a very stark legal and human rights line mm. if you actually hold people down. I wouldn't put it past them, to be yeah. honest with you. That's but, that's, a, that's a few years down the line, though. Whoever's not uh, yeah, June next year. Yeah, but, June next um, year. You know, <laughs> but and, and until then. Uh, you can pretend that yep. it's not mandatory, and yes, you yep. just won't be able to be a human being. Yep. Yeah. Unbelievable. You know? What it's a year. extraordinary. Extraordinary. We're in an extraordinary situation. I mean, part I, two. I, I think. think that it's really crystallized yep. that we're facing some kind of battle between good and evil, to be honest with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Know? Yeah. Have you seen that uh, Archbishop Vigano's letter? I'll, I'll send it to you. It's fantastic. Yeah, you sent it to yeah, me. Yeah, I've, seen, I've seen yeah, it in yeah, passing. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, yeah. that's part two. We're going to come back and we're going to talk the US election and finish up with part three. So thank you for listening to Report from Tiger Mountain.